We have a 1956 Ford F100 pick-em-up truck right here. This thing just has the it factor. I don't know if it's just the slick red paint. Well, it's a combination, the paint, the stance, the wheels. I bought this down at a show in Tennessee, and I just couldn't walk away from it. And it's like, look at this truck. It just, it just looks like a $100,000 truck. Uh, and yet, it's tasteful. It has everything you want, vintage air and power steering, power disc brakes. Uh, it's not over the top with craziness, but it's just done clean and tasteful, and it's just an awesome truck. Body off frame restored. Go to volocars.com, and that's where you can read all the information. Look at about 100 pictures top to bottom, and that is where you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale, along with the monthly finance option as well. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube, click on the bell icon so you're notified when the new videos are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, I bought this down in Tennessee. The people had owned it for 16 years. Uh, I will say they put about 16,000 miles on the truck. You would not know it by looking at it. It looks like it was done last week with no miles. So. The good news is it's a driver. You can get in and use this. It's reliable, it's comfortable, it's gonna take you wherever you wanna go. You wanna go on a overnight trip? This will do it. You wanna win a trophy? It'll do it tonight. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so the body was off the frame, like I said. It has a new front clip with independent suspension, uh, coil over adjustable gas shocks, um, in back, it's the leaf spring setup with shocks that was all re replaced when they redid the car. Uh, it's got disc brakes in front. That whole system was redone. It's got emergency brake cables. Has a custom stainless fuel tank because they relocated the filler right here. Uh, it has a, a nice custom exhaust with stainless mufflers. I think they're MagnaFlow mufflers. Sounds real nice. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. You look up at the motor, it's clean. It is a 351 motor, by the way. Uh, C6 automatic, that's Ford's heavy duty automatic trans. And everything under there was a part, rebuilt, replaced, suspension, brake lines, uh, you name it. It's all been done and it's all clean. So let's check out the body. The body is real slick looking. Uh, looks like I think these would have had rain gutters. Those have been shaved off. The roof is in excellent shape. Has the cowl. Yep, that still opens. I will demonstrate the hood in a little bit, but it actually uh, lifts up and then tilts forward. But it is laser straight. Absolutely no waves. Laser straight. I'm not seeing any damage. All clean. All metal, too, by the way. It's all nice and smooth and fits real nice. The gaps are real nice. Yeah, that's spot on. Fits real nice, shuts nice. The cab is smooth, the lower cab corner is smooth as can be. Metal running boards, it's all clean, all metal, absolutely straight. I mean, not even a ripple. I don't see body work showing or coming through. Custom tailgate, this does open. We'll demonstrate that in a little bit too. All clean metal. Like I said, they relocated the fuel door. So the body's outstanding. The paint, it looks like a Porsche red or Ferrari red, and it looks like it was just dipped in a big can of it. It's just absolutely wet and glossy, and they did block and polish it like a mirror. It is smooth. I don't see cracking. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple flaws here. I'm just not seeing any. It's that nice. It really is. So the glass was replaced and the rubber gaskets, whatever chrome was replaced, the handles, the mirrors, the emblem, the wipers, custom bumpers front and back, big chrome grill that's all been replaced, the Ford emblem. Here's a little rock chip right there, a small one. It's been touched up. Mirror on this side too. So part of the reason it has a real nice stance are the staggered size wheels. They're polished American Racing Torque Thrust wheels. They're 18s in front, 20s in back. Uh, performance tires wrapped around them. It's got the nostalgic original style taillights. And again, the back bumper matches the front. 
So let's open it up, see how it looks inside. Okay, so there's a stainless hardware latch on the inside here on each side that opens the tailgate. Uh, inside the box, all clean straight metal painted gloss red. All stainless hardware throughout, including the strips on the floor. Nice refinished wood. So real nice looking uh, inside of the bed. If you ever like a car, you can hit the buy it now button on our website and that will hold it until you have a chance to talk to the salesman. Now you can see the uh, inside of the doors, the jams are painted real slick, the weather strips are replaced, all custom interior. That's obviously a very custom door panel uh, with some nice polished billet hardware. And the metal inside the car is just as slick as the outside. Uh, custom dash area, but we got a match set of white faced gauges here. And this whole panel is custom, it has a nice oval. Uh, vents and vintage air uh, controls. This lower panel is custom made. It has a stereo with kick panel speakers. A billet shifter, a tilt column with a color match steering wheel. Nice carpet down on the floor. It's got some very comfortable captain's chairs with the uh, retractable seat belts. A nice center console here. And then up above, uh, custom headliner that matches the door panels and, and matching visors. And then you have the center console up above too. Uh, you're going to be looking real cool and styling. You'll need a place to put your sunglasses. So very nice, completely redone, uh, tastefully done, just like the outside interior. <clears throat> And the hood now opens like this. You just pull up on it, and it tilts forward. So a nice custom feature. Now we have a 351 Cleveland motor in here. It's got a little performance build on it. I'm sure, it's got a little bit hotter cam. We got an aluminum intake with an Edelbrock carb, MSD ignition system, set of Headman headers. We got power brakes, <clears throat> power steering, air conditioning, big aluminum radiator with electric fan and an overflow bottle. Let me sneak over to the other side. I like the Ford Racing, the tall valve covers. It's painted slick, has uh, modern electric wipers. And then look what we have under the hood. To Lamar, thanks for the great stairs. Alan Jackson So the truck is from Tennessee, and apparently he built some stairs for Alan Jackson. It's nice and crisp. This baby shine. Bye bye. So it's got to be one of the slickest looking uh, 56 F100s I've seen. And I forgot to mention both seats are power. I think they have a lumbar support. I'm noticing a new fuse block with the modern push in fuses. All the wiring's been redone. Just nice hardware throughout. This was a quality built truck and it's proven itself. Here we are 16,000 miles later and it looks like it was done yesterday. So go to volocars.com with your questions. The salesman can help you, including getting this delivered to wherever it is you call home and getting financing if you need it. That's all at volocars.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, click the bell icon. We've got some really exciting cars coming up. Thanks for watching.